Hey everyone, quick and easy video for you today. A few people have noticed, they've reached out and they've said, hey, what is, what is this little decoder guide that you've got in your videos now? I love the look of that, where do I get it? And I'm like, well, you can get it at the site that I won't tell you about, figure your shit out. Uh, someone down in the comments will link it or who the hell cares, or don't, if I see you linking it, I'll just spank you down or, or I, don't, I don't fucking know. I'm very, feeling very, very anti big business today. I was at, um, the Savta show, it was, it was great. I had a wonderful time with a bunch of safe technicians, learned a bunch of great things. Uh, yeah, wonderful classes, highly recommend. And then, you know, trade show, and it's like, oh God, it's just people selling you stuff. I get it, we, have, we need tools to do our job, but I'm sorry, I'm feeling very anti-commercial. But what is this? Well, let's be educational instead of commercial. This is, yes, it is a tubular decoder. And because it says zero through seven, you know this is not the red uh, one that this this is you know this is not a new concept the little Lego brick we used to call it this has been made and included in some kits before a one includes one there was a red one kicking around that was made by someone online who was very kind I will link their original uh, project below and their tweets and stuff they pointed out I asked them about it like hey I love this you made a 3D printed one can I remix it I'd rather it be zero through seven with the gem scale the Fort Lock scale. And they were like, D dude, check out my page. Like it's CC0, make it, commercialize it, do whatever you want. So yeah, this one clearly says Fort Lock scale because that's the way I tend to work, which if you're looking at a tubular key, you know, you look at the front of the key and the Fort Lock scale goes around clockwise from the key as opposed to the old Ace Lock scale where you would, where you would look clockwise around the, the lock face. But let's say you have picked a lock. Let's say you've picked a tubular because uh, you're at a locksmithing convention and you're bored and you're doing your laundry. I, I don't know, don't, don't do what Donnie don't does. Leave things the way you found them or better. But you've picked it and you're just curious. You're like, are all machines of this brand key to like? I don't know, but maybe you've got buddies that also have done some research and you say, I'm gonna share some data with you. So how would you go about decoding this pick and seeing what the actual bidding values are? Well, remember, starting at the zero index point, we want to go around clockwise. So this first cut right here, boy, that is a teeny, teeny cut, man. What do we think it is? Could it be a zero? It's either, it uh, could be a zero, or if I check it on the one, it's right in between a zero and a one. So I would have to go back, I would probably check my notes, but let's call that a, you know, a zero or a one. This next one is definitely taller. This next one is not a one. I don't know if we can see that cleanly. Uh, I think this next one, yes. This next one, is that coming through now? Uh, yeah, I love this. I might even get a little more zoomed in on the next few. This is a two. This is definitely a two. Okay, so we had probably a one or a zero, and then we have a two, and then we have another pretty small number here. That, that is a one, that is for sure. I had thought it was a zero the first time I measured it. It looks like a one at the moment. This next one, quite deep. Not, not a low number at all. Jeez, is this a four? Might even, be, might even be a five for all I can tell. This one, not quite as shallow. That looks like a four to me. Do we like that as a four? I like that as a four. Definitely not a three. We take it over here. See that nice and flush? I would call that a four. So we had that four, the one just beyond it, also looks like a four to me. And then we're almost at the very end. We've got a real deep cut at the end. What do we think? Is that a five? No. Looks to me like a six. Could it be a seven? Let's see, just in case, is it a seven? No, you can, you can just feel it. Actually, even just me pushing, I can feel this wobbling around. That is not a seven, that is a six. So there you go. If I wanted to, I could then take a tubular key cutter like I've been showing in other videos and we'll have more content about that coming up. I could make my own key based on the zero through seven Fort Lock or gem scale. This is my travel tubular pick with the, it is not my nice one with the other handle. So if you've got yourself one of our tubular picks, um, they will all come with the decoder scale and then the red one as well while supplies last probably. And the more we start to do tubular things, the more I give tubular things, I think even in Red Team Alliance classes, we're going to start including these scales. It was really wild on the Covert Entry Associates exam where someone was doing the practical hands-on skills section, they picked a lock and we said, okay, can you decode the lock? And they looked and they were like, well, I got 
tubular bidding, but like, what do I do? And in, they literally said, hey, I don't have the tool, but they went on Thingiverse, they found that original project, and they printed it. They printed one out, because this is a very small, very few layers, and they still had enough time to decode and verify that it was working. And I was like, oh my God, that is some initiative. That's awesome. But now you don't have to. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, we're happy to print them for you. If you do have a 3D printer, again, this is going to be linked below. Uh, this is a CC0 project, so it's out there in the wild. You can remix it, do what you want. I'm not here to take your money. I'm here to give you knowledge and to give you uh, free stuff because this will be the giveaway this week. I know I've been, I really have to get some giveaways shipped. I've got like the last four or five of them where winners got contacted. Uh, and, and by the way, please check your email. You may have won something like one dude won a freaking leashy pick and has not replied yet. And I really don't want to drop that in the mail until I know this person is still alive. But if you want to win this, um, I'll even, I'll draw two or three drawings out of here and you can, yeah, yeah a few of you are getting these from me. There's loads of other stuff we're going to talk about. I really hope you're enjoying things as silly as some of this might be to those of you who know how to do 3D printing and already know how locks work. To me, it's all novel. It's all fun. Uh, tubular locks have been with us for a long time, but there's always more ways to exploit them and, and check them out. So keep watching, keep enjoying, and as always, keep staying safe out there.